What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Are y'all ready for some Nintendo news? Because I sure as heck am. I'm excited I get to watch it with you guys. We don't normally get to watch these things together as a community. So, like, thanks for being here. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited that I've done a summoning circle. Are you guys ready to see my summoning circle? I forgot that I owned... I own a Legend of Zelda scarf. So this is my summoning circle. It's a Legend of Zelda Infinity Scarf. <laughs> Breath of the Wild 2! Breath of the Wild 2! <laughs> I got this, guys. Don't worry. I got enough copium for the rest of us. <laughs> oh, dude, me too. I can't wait to see more terrible Pokemon grass textures. That's just the shit. That's, that's, that's the best. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Pokemon anymore. <laughs> Oh, it's E3? Yeah, for real. So, like, state of play happening later today, too. I don't know if, it, if I'm gonna stream it yet. If I did, it would just be, like, a really tiny stream because I don't want to stream, like, all day up into the that that state of play. Um, I'm undecided if I'm gonna, like, turn on stream and do it with you guys or just, like, an offline recording kind of thing. I think I, I think we could do, like, a, a mini stream. I'm just really not used to that. And the RGG showcases tomorrow. <sighs> yeah. What time is that happening at? Do we know? Oh yeah, Tokyo Game Show. I'm very much looking forward to that in general. <laughs> Mario movie, let's go. Oh, so like I have the uh, bingo card by the way. And I still have three open slots on my, uh, on my bingo card. And I don't know what to put on there. Stream it on YouTube. I mean, I could. Dude, Chris Pratt himself is gonna show up in the flesh. Oh. Um. No, I meant like what? Uh, what time is the REGG showcase? I know when the state of play is. It's at 6 p.m. ET. but I wasn't sure about the RGG thing. I'm actually prepared for that, by the way, for tomorrow. I made myself some things. Do you all want to see what I've been working on? <laughs> I can, uh, I was like, it could be a surprise, but like, since y'all are here, I like rewarding people for coming in to stream early. So uh, I'm working on a few things, just a few things, by the way. I'll show you the progress of my work the past couple weeks. It's not done yet, but so, uh, so, uh, I'll let you do the guessing. I think it's easy at this point. I still have to attach the snake but I made it. Oh yeah, boy. <laughs> you also want to see another badass thing? Besides that? I'll show you, I'll show you. They're nice heels, and what's even better is they have like a snakeskin texture to them. <laughs> Secret projects are happening. And, but wait, there's more. Are you ready for it? <laughs> you thought that was it? Oh God, I just hit my elbow and it hurt. Um, So you guys remember like my conundrum I think it almost happened a year ago now, where, um, <laughs> don't, don't mock my exit, okay? Um, uh, what was I, <laughs> don't make fun of my exit, God damn it! <laughs> I'm just trying to have fun. Okay, anyway, so a year ago, I had this very sad thing happen in one of my dancing videos, in one Ryuji dancing video, where my pants may or may not have ripped. <laughs> Well, I fixed my problem. <laughs> man, 
New Uzi pants fun. I made them myself. Look at these brand new Shujin pants, everybody. And guess what? They're stretchy. Take that. No pants ripping ever again in this house. That's right. Stretchy pants. That's right. Stretchy Shujin pants. 100% made by myself. Boom. Got him. No more pants ripping ever again in my videos. Oh, yeah. Got him. <laughs> oh, I am working on so many things. <laughs> Y'all have no idea what is happening in the background. Just wait for the videos that are coming your way over on the YouTube channels. Oh, they're coming. Y'all better be ready for them. You can't buy them. I've, I made those. I made those pants because I was fed up with pants ripping. <laughs> oh, man. Have my pants ripped before? We can show the YouTube video on stream. I mean, like, we got time. We got time to kill, man. Let's do it. Y'all want to see some grade A uh, pants ripping? <laughs> I'll just skip to the end of the video. What about the bingo? I still have three spaces open. I have to brainstorm three more ideas on my bingo card. go uh. <laughs> so net that will never happen ever again never because i now have stretchy pants so boom and you know what these pants are even better than those ones that i had okay these ones are better they're made with love that's from me okay Okay, here's the bingo that we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys can see what we got so far. All right. All right, all right, all right. This song is such a slapper. Okay, here you go. Here is our current... Uh, I still have three more spots. Uh, and I'm not sure, uh, not sure what to put on there. I like, man, I have some ideas, but I, I'm trying to be realistic here. Like, what are we actually gonna get? I don't know. Hey, look, I'm ready for a Fire Emblem remake. I don't know, I would like a new Fire Emblem game, but because they just came out with Three Hopes, I don't think we're gonna get a new announcement. Maybe a remake. Look, I, I put MGS Trilogy on there, all right? All right, I, I'm a... I, I want to play the games, okay? So I'm just hopeful. <clears throat> There's so much copium on here. <laughs> Mother Yakuza! <laughs> I didn't actually notice I did that. <laughs> Mother Yakuza! <laughs> They announce a game called Free based off of the anime. Oh my god. Good morning. We're ready for the Nintendo Direct. Uh, thank you so How much for the hundred bits. The bingo card. <laughs> thank you so much, by the way, J Rod, for the eight month resub. Kamag, thank you so much for the Prime. And Trippets and Broda, thank you guys for the 100 bits each. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the support. And wait, did I also... It's Rangers. Thank you so much for the 15 months. Thank you, everyone. <clears throat> My mother. <laughs> My mother, Kazuma Kiryu. Oh, man. 
Look, I'm I'm huffing copium that Yakuza comes on to the Nintendo console. The other thing I was huffing some copium for is like, I don't know if they're gonna, cause like Sonic Frontier is coming out in two months, right? I was wondering if they were gonna show that at all. Uh, Ace Attorney? I don't think so. Advance Wars date is on here. Advance Wars finally. Metroid 4, you think so? Huh. <clears throat> Pokemon Coliseum. Ugh. Okay, so yeah. Okay, I'll add I'll add Metroid Prime 4. Man, man, I'm just gonna man, put Metroid man, 4. Man, man. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, Raz Candy. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm also doubtful about Pokemon because they do their own thing, but I'm still putting it on here because they're probably going to say something. I don't know. I feel like something Pokemon always shows up. <clears throat> no, there's, a, trust me, Chad, there is going to be zero Atlas in, in these things. I, I'm highly doubtful. I, 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 there's nothing Atlas that's going to be happening here. I think Sega, possibly, but definitely no Atlas. They got their announcements happening at the concert. Hmm. Huh. Oh, mm, not bad. Random. Yeah, that's what I did. I did like the what is this game? Oh, oh my God. Did I do that? Oh my God. Wait, <laughs> did I put wait? Where's Earthbound? I don't even see Earthbound. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Deleting Earthbound, deleting Earthbound. Oh my God, that was so dumb. <laughs> I didn't even realize I did that. <laughs> Thank you for that catch. Holy shit. <sighs> oh, you're talking about Detroit Become Human? I don't even know, can that run on the Switch? That's a pretty hefty one. Xenoblade 3 I have on here, like some expansion news with their DLC that they have. <clears throat> E-Tree and Odyssey, you really want me to put that on here? Like, I do want to play those games, so I absolutely would. Dude, what if they have like, does this already exist? Like a collection of like the Mega Man games? One through what, seven? How many other? The old school ones. <clears throat> I'd be down for that. Yeah, okay. Never mind. It already exists. <laughs> Another Zelda spinoff? I don't know. I feel like all of their time and energy is going into Breath of the Wild 2 right now. I don't think we're going to get any other, uh, well, news. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There are Mega Man collections. Okay, cool, cool, cool. As long as, like, they exist. Th that's fine. <clears throat> what else we got? Your biggest copium is SMT5 DLC. Oh man. Going to play in its trailer is going to take <laughs> half of the that is a hard huff, man. That is a hard huff of copium. <clears throat> Switch sports, adding golf and maybe more sports. Actually, that's not a bad one. That's that's actually not too bad. Maybe like DLC, I have no freaking idea. Now I have two open slots because of Earthbound. Why did I write that if I already had Mother? I mean, okay, I'll help the copium for you guys, fine. I'll put the Ace Attorney on here. I just doubt it. I, I, I highly doubt it's gonna happen. That's a, that's a, ooh, Astral Chain 2. Oh wait, IRS, six months? I thought, Damn. I thought Astral Chain 1 was like kind of a flunk though. I thought it didn't sell well. I don't expect an Astral Chain 2, but that's not a bad thing to bring up. I just didn't think it was that successful to warrant a second one. Rhythm Heaven Copium? Rhythm Heaven, are we putting it on? All right, I'll put it on. It actually sold over a million. 
Oh. Oh, that's also true, because Bayonetta exists. But I don't know. Uh, maybe? Uh, maybe not, yeah. Oh, dude, Game Boy Advance on the Nintendo Switch Online subscription. Dude. I would... I would fucking love that. Oh, my God. I do got my cookie ready for today, y'all. Look. It's half-eaten, but, like, my Game Boy cookie still exists, all right? I will finish eating it during the direct, but I had to save it. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, like, half-eaten. <laughs> You really, uh, Xenoblade X, people keep on bringing that one up. I, uh, I don't know. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, no Kingdom Hearts. Doubt that. That would be later, wouldn't it? Like, Kingdom Hearts 4 would be in the state of play, but I don't think that's gonna happen later. Oh, uh, no, the return of the blue fingers. They'll be back. <laughs> it looks like a swimsuit? What? Cookie does not look like a swimsuit. It just has some bites taken out of. <laughs> oh, is Pikmin on my bingo card? Wait, now my bingo card's full. I'll take off Ace Attorney because I'm pretty sure that's not gonna happen. All right, I'll, I'd rather put Pikmin on here. All right, it's done. We have a full card. We're ready. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> All right, it's done. Now, I just put it into paint. I'm very bad at this. Don't worry, that was my computer, not yours. To I don't want to confuse anybody here. <clears throat> All right, I'm bringing up the good old paint. Probably still be loose, uh, but I think it's still usable. I mean, yeah, you can, but like, the the goal is to have more like accessibility. Hey, welcome to the stream, Nothing Muffin. Happy to have you here. Welcome to all the new viewers. There's probably quite a few of you that are in here. Welcome to the streams. Chaotic energy all around. Now Habino is here to watch over the stream as he always does. <clears throat> Crazy taxi, oh my god. <laughs> oh, that makes me miss like those, um, like the little physical thing. And I used to play with that all the time. I think it's what it was called, crazy taxi, right? You move the cars, they can only move in one direction and the goal was to get the thing out. I used to play that a lot. Aw, thank you. I had to wear my scarf today. I went through my wardrobe and I remembered that I had like a Zelda scarf. Um, so it's my way of having a summoning circle for like Breath of the Wild 2 news. <laughs> Literal summoning circle around my neck. <laughs> I had to, man. I had to. I'm like huffing so much copium. I need this game so bad. Uh, I need Breath of the Wild 2 already. God, I loved, well, I loved one so much. I'm sorry in advance because like whenever Breath of the Wild 2 comes out, I'm going to be going fucking nuts over that game. Like everybody else, like everybody and their fucking mother is going to be playing this game. But I'm, I'm definitely on that train too. It's just ugh, so excited for it. <clears throat> Glory Society? I've never heard of this game. What is it? Glory Society. Uh, live service games like Destiny Warframe. Um, actually, I have a friend that is currently trying to get me into Warframe because he thinks I would really enjoy it. And I'll be honest, I think Warframe is a game. Wait, no, I'm thinking of the wrong game. I'm thinking of Warhammer, Total Warhammer. My bad, my bad, not the same game. Um, yeah, I've been trying to get into Warhammer. And if I have any free time in the next couple months, I would like to try it. <laughs> but, um,. Uh, I mean, those kinds of games don't really interest me. I have watched people play them, but for me, it's not something that I'm interested in, especially because like my my off stream time is consumed by Final Fantasy 14, and I can't imagine doing it like another live service type game. I know it's not the same thing, but like the constant update type of thing, always needing to, yeah. I don't think I could do that with anything else other than like Final Fantasy 14, if that makes sense. 
I just can't, dude. My life is so occupied by one game already. <clears throat> I know, it's like, I can't, I don't know how people play more than one MMO at a time. I, I don't, I, how do you all do it? I have, I'm so busy. And then on top of that, having like, if I played WoW in, in Final Fantasy XIV, like the thing is, I w I've considered playing WoW before and I know I would enjoy it, but I just, oof, it's hard to justify my time playing both of them. I don't think I can. All right, we got the, we got the bingo card up, friends. Look, I got it ready. Bingo card here. Bam, here we are. I got the got the paint ready. This is it. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay. They just mixed it up a little bit. Mother Yakuza doesn't a <laughs> Pokemon mother. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm like very satisfied and happy with uh with my Final Fantasy 14. Oh yeah, Arsene's just creeping in the background here. Pokemon mother free. <laughs> ah, there's so much copium on here. I mean, we've got to be hitting some of these, right? I would kill for some Golden Sun. Golden Sun has been my most wanted game to play since I was like 10 years old. Okay, when did it come out? I think I was like, I was really young when it came out. And I still have the Game Boy Advance cartridge. Like, I fucking have it. I could play it at any time. I've had it since I was a kid, and I have never gotten around to having it to like to actually play it. <sighs> I want to play it so bad. So like, if they actually ported it like off of Game Boy Advance, like I would, I would, I would absolutely be so on that shit. Yeah, Waluigi solo game. I think it's about damn time that we get a Waluigi game. All right. <laughs> I am all for the wah, 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 wah. like. Give me that shit. Anyway, where am I watching this? Nintendo. There, got I got the live stream up. 2001, yeah, that sounds accurate. I was like, so 2001, I was seven years old when it came out. I remember being like around 10 years old and my brother, I think my brother has the, the actual cartridge at his place, cause it was his game, but I never managed to get it off of him. Oh! Alrighty, here we go. Oh my god, Tomodachi Life or Miitopia 2? Ha, oh, that'd be awesome. That actually... Huh, I like that. I like that idea. I'm, I'm gonna help that copium too. My, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. I really appreciate it. No, I don't think we're gonna get anything Atlas at all. I really don't think Atlas is gonna be at Nintendo Direct or the State of Play. I'd be extremely surprised because all of their announcements are gonna happen at the concert at this point. I don't think they're gonna show up. Their concert is like a really big thing for Persona and that's in one month. So I don't think they would do anything here. I know, I'm so ready. I got the stream up. Oh my God, I hate looking at chat, dude. <laughs> Chat is always, not you guys, I'm talking about like this chat. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Can't pre-order the P5R for the Switch? Uh, probably, I mean, P5R pre-orders might go up. I don't know. It's still like over a month away. They might go up. Yeah, I know that there is the Yakuza. Thing tomorrow, but I still think that there's a possibility that they also would put it. The thing is, RGG is really small, so them having a uh, what? What? Everyone, shut up! It's talking. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Train of thought gone. Let's go! We live on the continent of Elios. Four realms surrounding a holy land at its center. A thousand years ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the fell dragon. 
We called upon heroes from other worlds to aid us. Heroes known Get the as fuck enemies. Out. <laughs> With them, the warriors of our nations fought as one. What? In the end, we were victorious <laughs> in defeating and imprisoning the Fell Dragon. In the years <laughs> since, our world has been safe. Why was like Micaiah and Marth and Ike? Did I just see like the all of that? Weakens. What is this? They cannot come out with another Warriors game. No, they just came out with three hopes. What? Two Warriors games back to back? That can't be. What the heck? Hey, there is the boy. Oh my God! <laughs> I legit can't believe that we're actually getting another You're Fire awake. Emblem thing, but it's not what I want. You're really awake, yeah? Thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep. What are those horrible things? Oh my god. Wait! If I may. It's not a Warriors a game. This dragon. gameplay is a member of a royal family of dragons revered as deities. The war. The fell dragon. What's going I feel like on? I must remember. But I've had my eye on you. The ring. What's going on? Mark. Right. Alir and Mar- I don't- what is going on? This is so many characters from like way different stories! It is rather quiet, I know. But it will liven up as we gain allies. <laughs> the time has come! Now, as one, Emblem, engage! I'm so confused! I am like the utmost level of confusion! How does this work? Sigurd? Please grant me your strength. What's going on? Silica's here. Everybody. Like I even saw like in the in the opening portrait they had like Lynn and Micaiah. I think I saw Ike in there too. What's going on? What is it? Fire Emblem Engage? It is coming out in January 2 and I'm only gonna cry! <laughs> I've been Hello, wanting everyone. a new Fire Emblem game for so fucking I'm long! Yoshiaki Koizu, God damn it! I'll be your guide for today's oh my God. Nintendo Direct. Oh, I'm what crying. What you just saw was the latest installment of the Fire Emblem series. Ah, I love Fire, Fire Emblem, Emblem so Engage. much. In addition to the standard version, we'll also be releasing the Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition. Containing oh, collectible I items. need the art book! Give me! Please look forward to more information about this game in the future. I don't understand. I don't understand. Let's take a look at our first batch of headlines. I'm already freaking out over like the starting line. It takes two to tango. <gasps> I need to play it takes two is on the rocks. But it gets even tougher. Oh, it takes two comes on the dogs. switch. I need to, to play this game. Back, it's on my list. Brave and onslaught it's on my indie game list. Working together is the only way forward. Team up and cooperate. How do I use in this? this critically acclaimed two player platforming adventure? I, I wrote Fire Even Emblem Remake! I wrote a remake! I was side. expecting Tellius Games adventure to be remade! It doesn't count! Filled with challenging experiences Damn it. around every corner. In addition to single no. system play, the game can also be played on two systems via local I legit thought we wouldn't be getting a, a new Fire Emblem like friends pass. title. I really How thought. Cody and May return to normal. With a partner, of course. I was like, no, there's no shot. Like, Three Hopes it just came out. Three Hopes Nintendo just came Switch out. We are not November getting this 4. shit. And then they did. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. It has old Fire Emblem. I mean, like, but it's, it's not a remake. Forbidden it's not a remake of an old begins. game. That's what I was expecting. Damn. Ugh. Fatal frame. After mysteriously vanishing as a child, 
Ruka Minasuki visits an abandoned hospital in search of her lost Should memories. I play these games? I keep hearing a lot of good things about Fatal Frame. Use the camera obscura to repel evil spirits and uncover the memories that yes, were please. I would gladly do it. A dark curse looms near. What ancient rituals will be revealed? Fatal Frame, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse launches for the first time okay. in the West on Nintendo Switch next year. Dang! I, did, I, did, I don't think There's anyone saw that coming. hero who looks mechanical? Oh, introducing Xenoblade 3, wave two go! of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 expansion pass for the Xenoblade new hero. Chronicles 3 game. This is Eno, a new hero. She appears to be uh mechanical. Complete her quest to have her Wait, join your party. She's chugging the ether. Expanding your options for classes and battle strategies. Version 2.0. Challenge battles will also be Wait, did be she added. have her own like soul link tree? Test your metal in consecutive battles what? against tough enemies. Defeat all enemy waves to earn rewards. Challenges. Challenge I, I like that. Enemies to I earn like that. Accessories and special outfits. Oh God, swimming. <laughs> The fan service outfits, let's go! More hero and gameplay additions will arrive in Wave 3. All right. Wave 2 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 expansion one pass launches away. on Nintendo Switch October 13th. No! <laughs> That's so fast! Get drawn into these Nintendo Switch games. Nautical nonsense begins when SpongeBob, SpongeBob and Patrick make a wish that unravels the very fabric of the universe. In this 3D platforming adventure, you travel uh... through portals to seven outlandish Where wish worlds, fuck? like prehistoric kelp forest and wild west jellyfish fields. Explore using all sorts of wacky moves, don over Dude, 30 I can't even fantastic cosmic mouth. costumes, and meet your favorite Bikini Bottom residents from the TV series, voiced by their original actors. That's it. Original Spons voice Bob actors, holy shit. Cosmic shake, I feel like that actually doesn't happen that often. You're already fit? Box with familiar characters from Fist of the North Star. <laughs> They'll be your instructors in exercise <laughs> Box with your favorite you characters. Boxing drills. Defeat as many enemies as you can with just your fists <laughs> in battle mode. Or take on rivals What do you mean? What is this game? Battles, including what do you Jackie, mean? What is this game? Boxing, Actually, this North definitely Star, crosses this off. What is Switch, this game? March 2023. Absolutely. This ain't your uncle's dodgeball. Throw whatever you can at opponents in this hilariously hard-hitting party game. Embrace the oh. absurdity of frantic minigames, each one featuring ridiculous rules in mad oh, God. arenas. Customize your character Xenoblade from head to 3 expansion with hundreds news. of accessories. Got em. Plus, challenge up to six friends and frenemies in local and online play. They won't even know what hit them. Oddballers launches on Nintendo Switch early next year. A small fox Tunic! washes ashore I want to play this game so island. bad, it's so Three cute! The unknown in this isometric action-adventure oh, game. Oh, Tunic looks so good! Is the manual. Traverse the island's interconnected realms Look at to retrieve her. its missing pages. Dangerous traps and even more dangerous monsters lurk around every corner. Seriously, this game looks adorable. Like, I need to play it. What long lost secrets will the island reveal? Tunic launches on the Nintendo Switch system September 27th. Pre orders begin today. Two weeks. On In Nintendo two weeks. Nintendo Wii Shop. New oh Intel boy. has arrived for these front mission remakes. Full remakes of two front mission games are storming in. In Front Mission 1 Remake, what? you'll pilot giant machines called Bonzers in tactical turn-based combat. As you progress, you'll I've never heard skills of this. that can help you gain the upper hand But I like against tactics opponents. games. You can also test your metal at the I've Coliseum. I've never heard of this. Front Mission? Continue the battle in the sequel, previously unreleased outside of Japan. I'm like really Take surprised because I like additional features like more terrain effects, weapon and armor attributes, and over 80 new skills. I feel like this is a game I should have heard about. Game. Front Mission One Remake launches on Nintendo Switch this November. 
Battlefront Mission 2 remake will launch on Nintendo Switch next year. You know what? And I'm adding that to my future, list. I love tactics games. Mission 3 so, like, will also me. Yeah, launch on Nintendo Switch. It's famous in Japan. Okay. I'm surprised I never heard it's of it. It's a wonderful life for a new generation. Oh, God. After nearly Cows! 20 years, a beloved farming experience is reborn. <laughs> Oh my god, Cal! To Forgotten Valley. Here, you'll manage a farm passed down to you by your father. Restore and expand your farm as you nurture crops. Oh yeah, they showed this game before, for didn't they? Animals and help the land flourish. I, wait, I don't think this isn't Harvest Moon, no. Befriend the townsfolk while you're out of the It's that other game the that valley. they showed like a few months back, right? But it's not. You might even meet your future partner. Oh, this is a remake? And start a family. I thought this was Another like farming sim type game that those they around you will grow but not actually time goes me. on. Their appearances will change over the years. Your child will also choose their career based on how you raise them. Oh, that's cute. Wait, that's actually cute. An especially wonderful farm it's life in Forgotten Valley lies ahead. Story of Seasons. Story of Seasons. Life launches on Nintendo Switch, summer 2023. That looks really cute, actually. Oh, God. Of course, they have to put Splatoon 3 in here, huh? The first post-launch Splatfest for Splatoon 3 has been confirmed. Here's the theme. What would you bring to a deserted island? Gear, grub, or fun? I never could get into Splatoon 3. I actually used to play this first Splatoon game a bit with my friends back when it came out in college, but so many ink haven't really played it since. Which team will you join? But I heard that Splatoon 3 is, like, mad successful. Holy poop. And more free updates are planned for Splatoon 3. <laughs> Be on the lookout for more info in the future. I love the aesthetic. It's so good. Splatfest so almost sounds like a horrible fetish. What did you think? What would you bring to a deserted island? As for me, I've already decided. I hope you'll all participate as well. Very cool, very cool. Next, please take a look at this. Deal field? Because I was interested in playing that game. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, God. Introducing a brand new game in the Octopath Traveler no. series. Eight new travelers embark on a journey no. through the land of Celestia. With that, we could realize a world without conflict, without bloodshed. I'm going to become a star and bring smiles to people's faces, just like Mama. I'm hitting the road. I'll be back once I eliminate that. It better be better Bobby. than the first one, man. The man who took everything from me shall die by my hand. Not again. Not the stench. The stench of blood. <laughs> Doubt is what I do. Leave the hunting to me. You'll have all the tasty meat you want. I love the aesthetic so much. But God, the first one was such. Uh... I did not enjoy Explore it. Explore a wide world set in a bustling era. I'll give it a try. Each traveler's path action differs between day and night. It differs between day and night. Oh my God, that's Our crazy. Lord knows well the ways of the world. What will happen when their paths intertwine? What's that big <sighs> Man, I hope it improves a lot. I loved the battle system. The perks of Octoplath Traveler where the battle system was fantastic. The art style was of course gorgeous and the music I really enjoyed as well. But the dungeons were such a fucking buzzkill, man. They were so boring. And the stories were so mediocre. None of the stories were that interesting. They were just super... Octopath Traveler 2 launches on Nintendo Switch 
February super basic stories, nothing complex, nothing special, which I mean works for some people, but it really didn't what vibe with just me. Just the stories and the lack of actually good dungeons Enix. did not carry the game for me. Please look forward to the journeys of eight new heroes. So I'm hoping that the storytelling is a little bit better. Let's in this see game. some more headlines. We did get a release date February. A magical home. I is waiting man, for Octopath you. Traveler 2, of course. I should have expected that one. Welcome to your new fairy tale life in Fay Farm. Cultivate your homestead and forge everlasting friendships. So many in this farming farm simulation RPG. Discover magical They basically said check crops. this out. They did. I'm marking it, dude. We're not doing too great right now, guys. And explore the enchanted realms of Azoria. Oh, this Along is Along the way, you'll befriend a lively cast of characters who call this island their home. Tend and grow your fairy tale farmstead solo or together with up to four players in local or online multiplayer. You know what? I'm going to cope by, by eating my Game Boy. Crafting items you'll be able to customize your home and enjoy this mesmerizing adventure even more. As the seasons change, new spellbinding surprises can be unlocked that'll help you restore Azoria to its natural splendor. Magic awaits in Fay Farm, launching exclusively on Nintendo Switch Phoenix Spring Labs. 2023. It's a musical Whoa. blast from the past. That's Final Fantasy! Celebrate the 35th anniversary of the Final Fantasy series Whoa. with the latest theater rhythm game. A theater rhythm? What? Enjoy iconic songs like One Winged Angel. What? Torn from the Heavens. Yeah! Shiteki Dane and more. Oh, there that's a beautiful song. 385 songs total. Holy crap. Songs are categorized crap. by game, so you can play each oh, stage yeah. while experiencing the series through the music. In addition, two players locally can complete stages in pair style, while up to four oh! players can battle to the beat in online I love the little, I Theater love the rhythm art. Final Bar Line begins its symphony on the Nintendo Switch oh system. Oh my god, 16, a rhythm game. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. After the game's launch, a rhythm game. DLC songs oh from my the god, it's series. Ultros. Ah, series. that Ultros was so cute. Octopath Traveler. Dude, look at the Kefka though! Live, and Gilgamesh! And oh, nice! That's 90 additional songs. Rams? Oh, beautiful. They even got Plus, tactics. Additions contain That's so good! That's so good! 27 extra songs, I'm a sucker for this shit, man. Will be available. Oh. These songs are so pretty. I need to play it just for, like, the a music. Cosmic adventure is just and I do love the rhythm corner. games. Blast off on an adventure of galactic proportions what? with Mario and the rabbits. Let's Live. dive into exploration. Freely roam through all sorts of wondrous what? worlds, each one jam-packed with discoveries. Find coins. Another rabbits game? Are paths. you kidding me? And help out the locals with their troubles. Bro. <laughs> At shops, you can get items that'll come in handy during battles. After each quest or battle, your team will earn rewards and get stronger. Sparks are here to lend a helping hand. Recruit up to 30 different sparks, uh, each with their own special powers and skills. It's not even a new announcement, everyone just forgot. Yeah, <laughs> I'm one of those people, man. I don't care. <laughs> oh, oh. I don't think it's, I don't Mario think this counts as a new game though. To the darkness? Does it? It's Mario not, it doesn't Plus count as a new Sparks Mario game. Launches on Nintendo Switch October 20th. Pre-orders are available now yeah, on Nintendo uh, I'm not marking it, man. It doesn't a count. A gold edition can also be pre-ordered. I just pre forgot to. Containing the base game, weapon skills, <laughs> and a season pass. Because it was already a thing. Restore peace between humans and monsters. <gasps> Where have I heard that before? Rune Factory 3 returns on Nintendo Switch. Oh, Rune Factory. Take a break from quests. Another series I forgot existed that I wanted to play. And care for monsters. Among That's a surprise. Other relaxing activities. You can also transform into a monster? 
Your abilities in battle and conversations with the locals. Hey man, I heard you guys wanted more form. farming sims your on your Switch. Also cause different events to occur. Plus, a brand new mode has been added to help you enjoy I mean, granted, these these games all look super with cute. In-game spouse. Rune Factory 3 special launches on Nintendo Switch next year. I'm surprised. Not a lot of like actual release dates, which is very unlike the Nintendo Directs. Plus, a new Rune Factory series oh! will launch in the future. Actually, okay, they teased that there's gonna be another one. More Nintendo 64 games yes! are on the way. Yes! Pilot Wings 64. What the fuck is that? I just got so excited. Mario Party. Oh my god, yes. Okay, that's a winner. Mario Party 2. Okay, okay, let's go. I grew up with these games. Mario Party 3. Okay, okay. 4 was the best one, though. Pokemon Stadium. Four, Mario Party 4 was the best Mario Party, don't at me. You know I'm Pokemon right. Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh my god! 1080 snowboarding. Oh yeah, snowboarding! Let's go! Excite Bike 64. Yeah! I know this game. These games will gradually be added in the future. Holy you crap! Can play a selection of Nintendo 64 games. Pokemon Stadium, though! With an active Nintendo Switch online. Yo, it counts. Pack it membership. counts. It counts. Pokemon. Oh, I expected something to be ported. We should mention. Wait, what? Perform over wow, I did not expect that coming. That's a big one. That is so big. And deepen your relationships with the locals. <laughs> In doing so, my childhood, my childhood, man, I'm going crazy. And abilities. A grand adventure Whoa. into the unknown awaits. <laughs> Various Daylight launches oh on Nintendo Switch later today. Oh. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Causes you to crash Sorry. land oh. on a strange planet. I'm fucking Build winded. A that's a big. That's a big enough. This management sim game. I think I gotta play that today. By the way, no one more then stream. We're playing that right away. Find them into various oh, resources. Eventually, you'll construct multiple production lines like these. Oh. But the planet's creatures will attack, so keep them at bay. Factorial I like these kinds of games. Switch, I want to play more of them. A young girl named Ib visits an art museum with her parents in this 2D exploration adventure. Oh, she you guys told me to play this game. By the artist Guertena, until this isn't this on my indie game list? You guys told me to play it. Her in. <laughs> Will she be able to safely return to her own world? Every decision of This is on our indie game list, so we will be playing this. Launching on Nintendo Switch Spring 2023. Nice. Mario Strikers Battle League. Oh, God. Players locally on one system can get gritty is getting a second free update. Joining the roster are Pauline, a physical powerhouse with fast movements and strong tackles. And Diddy Kong, a midfield speedster with dazzling techniques and oh, yeah. accuracy. Plus, more gear and another stadium are being added. The second free update launches this month. I'm so excited that my nose is getting so stuffy. The final summer begins. Huh? When strange islands suddenly oh. appear, Risa and friends set sail to investigate in order to protect their oh, homeland I've heard from of this impending game. danger. Sprawling landscapes set the stage for your adventure. Freely explore this vast world and forge your own path in this charming RPG. You get to ride a dolphin and whatever that thing is. heroes from all walks of life will join your party. During battle, work with your allies to activate various skills, which can be swapped out when needed. Teamwork is paramount after all. 
New features are also in store. The keys to this lively adventure <laughs> are in <laughs> your <laughs> hands. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <clears throat> Atelier Rise of Three, Alchemist of the End, and the Secret Key launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 24th, 2023. Okay, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. We still have 15 minutes. Oh, shit. It happened. The Mario Kart. Sneak peek at two courses racing into wave three. Mary Mountain from Mario Kart Tour. Did I put that on here? No, I don't think I did, but we kind of knew it was going to happen. Peach Gardens from Mario Kart DS. <laughs> oh, I like Peach Gardens. I used to play every Mario Kart game religiously. Wave three of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Ever Booster since I think the DLC N64. for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game launches this holiday. Misery Simulator. Nintendo Switch hey, Online I enjoyed playing members Mario Kart games DLC growing up. No additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. How was that? Next, we have some news to share about Nintendo Switch Sports. In the next free update, golf will be added. Yo! Who called that? Switch Sports, let's go! Of course, you can play these locally. Additionally, up to eight players online can play at the same time on the same course in survival golf. Those with the most strokes will be out. We previously announced that the update would release this fall. However, we'd like a bit more time for development, so the update Damn is it. now planned for this holiday. Please wait just a little longer. Man, I don't want to wait any longer. Next, I'm so hyped to play golf. Guest, uh? Mr. Miyamoto. <gasps> Hello, it's been a while. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. It's happening. I have a few things I'd like to share with you today, including some news. First, as you may have heard, the Super Mario Brothers animated movie we're developing with Chris Melodandri from Illumination will release next spring. And Super Nintendo World, which is entering its second year at Universal Studios Japan, will also open okay. in Hollywood, California in the US. Recently, we've been working on the finishing touches for both. I'm waiting for like a trailer of the movie. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Pikmin. Pikmin? What? It's been over 20 years since the first game, and we're still working on the series. That, okay, that took a really unexpected this turn. I was waiting, man. I was waiting for Chris Pratt as Mario. Last year, in which players what? all over the world are planting flowers. Oh, that's so cute! Here's a quick rundown of the game for those who have yet to play it. What? Pikmin Bloom is a smart device game that uses your location. By walking outside, you can find Pikmin, raise them, and plant flowers together. What? All you need to do is take it with you on your daily walks or outings. You can look back at the end of the day and see where I you I can't walked. believe Miyamoto came out here and was Send like, go touch grass. Collect the items they found that day and feed them nectar to increase their petals. Oh my god. Pikmin so go. how many steps did we take today? While you're out and about, you can also use the AR feature to take photos with Pikmin. Oh my god. Augmented reality. Let's go. Let's take a quick look at my screen. I have nearly 700 Pikmin. They love nectar. If you give Pikmin nectar like you see here, their flowers will bloom. It's a trend simulator. Yeah, pretty much. You'll also see the number of steps you've taken that day. Regarding the That's map, true. the clouds will clear along the This path was you mentioned. Walk, so you can keep a record of locations you've visited. Chris Pratt is Mari. I normally move around within Kyoto, but I've also been going to Osaka, to Universal Studios Japan. Oh my god. I occasionally go to Tokyo as well. You'll say to yourself, okay, this time I'll try walking here. It makes trips and walks a lot of fun. It's a very easygoing play experience you can enjoy just by taking it with you. I hope you'll try it out. Okay, now to the main event. Please take a look at this. You are so hyped for Pikmin 4. Too bad. You get Pikmin Go. Oh, wait. Wait. I 
I lied. <laughs> Spoke too soon, man. Hey! Don't speak too soon, Crystal. There it is. <laughs> you got him. Pikmin 4. That's right. Pikmin 4 will launch in 2023. We won't be showing any gameplay today. However, you'll be able to play like this, from the Pikmin's perspective near the ground. I also made a new t-shirt. <laughs> Nintendo Switch has made controlling so the game simpler, meaning you Look can further shirt. concentrate on the core essence of Pikmin gameplay. We call it Dandori in Japanese, or strategically planning, deploying, and commanding the Pikmin. I hope you're all looking forward to Pikmin 4. Thank you, Mr. Koizumi. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Miyamoto. Now, let's move on to some more headlines. Oh, oh, oh God, I keep hitting my elbow off my desk. Next level. <laughs> oh? Man, I would love these games more. If only copyright DMCA wasn't a thing for them. Can Yikes. you survive the season of death? Oh, that sounds very joyful. As you call oh, the Harvestella! Another! The oh my god! The season of death quietus continuously <laughs> returns, threatening to destroy all. Travel the world <laughs> and find a way to put an end to the calamity. This game this does look really cute, though. RPG. I was interested the first time they Along showed this the game. Way, allies with different motives will join your cause. <laughs> Nintendo Farming While Direct, facing bro. Numerous dangers, you'll begin to uncover the truth. There's of more this to this game, though. World. After this presentation. A demo containing the opening days of your farm's first season will be available on Nintendo eShop. Man, farming, let's go. To the full game once purchased. I think that's five farming Harvestella games? Harvestella launches on Nintendo Switch November 4th. Get ready for a devilishly good time. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. After 500 years, Umbra Witch Bayonetta was revived. In Hello, the present day. mommy! In the Whoa! First Bayonetta game, she Look at her! With She's so gorgeous. Her lost memories. And in the second, confronted demons to save her best friend. Hot damn. Now, in this third installment, she'll fight to protect the world damn, from girl, the sudden damn. invasion of man made bioweapons called homunculi. Don't worry. She's gone from fighting for herself to fighting for others to fighting for the world. Those who have overcome their past histories with Bayonetta to fight alongside her include the journalist Luca. God, her outfit is so pretty. Umbra witch, mm. Sean. The urge to cosplay. Also Oof. joins in on the action. It's pretty, man. It's pretty. A hair raising. Demon summoning. Globe trotting adventure away. Demon summoning, what's that? In Bayonetta 3, launching on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Wait, did we have a release date before? Orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Because that's like After in a month. After today's Nintendo Direct, a new trailer delving more into gameplay. I don't remember a release date. Oh, okay, YouTube we channel. did? Okay. That's really soon. A dark fantasy mystery abounds Bayonetta from 3? the creators of Danganronpa. Welcome to the city of this Perpetual is from Spike? Rain. 
Many cases remain unsolved in this corporate-controlled metropolis. Those oh my god, you can tell. Oh my god. Detectives who come from all around the world. Okay. Well, we definitely know I'm playing this game. Meet Yuma, an amnesiac detective. <laughs> and Shinigami, the spirit haunting him after their pact. Oh. Shinigami? Dive into these unsolved cases as a trainee at the detective agency. Clock tower. Thoroughly inspect each crime Coco scene head. to gather clues and evidence. When Yuma you're ready, Coco Head. Shinigami will conjure a realm tying the crime scene to the truth. Oh! A mystery labyrinth. She literally kicked Overcome his ass. Obstacles and manifestations of mysteries to edge closer to the actual events. However, Mystery phantoms will attempt to hinder your progress during each case. Avoid their barrage of falsehoods and slash the oh contradictions. Oh my god. Uncover the secrets of oh Master Detective god. Archives. Rain Code. Launching first on the Nintendo okay. Switch system spring 2023. Rain Code. Well, we're definitely playing that one. Enter the village. Oh if god. You dare. Really? The latest installment in the Resident Evil series is coming to Nintendo Switch as a cloud version. As a cloud version. Ethan Winters must face the horrors of the village and its four fearsome <sighs> I eventually got to gotta play the Resident Evil series, daughter. man. Resident Evil Village Cloud, cloud. launches on Nintendo Switch October 20th. Don't get your hopes up, man. It's cloud. You can download and try out the free demo today on Nintendo eShop to pre-order. All right, the there are game. four minutes left in this direct. The last announcement the has Winter's to be Breath of the Wild DLC, 2. Come on. Containing a new third-person mode, additional story content. Come on, and more three minutes will left. December 2nd. They saved the best announcement for last. Three other recent entries in the Resident Evil series will be available as cloud versions on Nintendo Switch this year. Cloud versions, okay. Everything, cloud. Cloud gaming is impossible where you live, oh. It's an action-packed lineup of Nintendo Switch games. Vanquish foes to avenge your father in this kung fu See? action brawler. By thrusting, by thrusting and parrying opponents you'll break their stance yeah. and gain the upper hand fall in combat and you'll get older and weaker in turn however you'll learn new techniques to complete your mission can you exact revenge before your time runs out <laughs> sifu pummels its way onto nintendo switch november 8th pre-orders begin today on nintendo eShop experience the events leading up to final fantasy 7 in this exhilarating action rpg wait zach fair is a young and ambitious wait soldier wait this is coming on the switch to become a hero together with sephiroth and cloud he investigates strange disappearances within his elite huh? unit. this i didn't think this was going to be on the switch HD graphics is this real an updated combat system and new soundtrack arrangements Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion launches on Nintendo Switch December 13th. What? The classic arcade shoot 'em up Radiant Silver Gun is coming to Nintendo oh. Switch. Oh! Fire different types Finally, of Finally, a real to cloud version. That's the cloud version we all wanted. Defeat multiple enemies of the same color for a chain bonus. I'm surprised that's actually or on the take Switch, down though. Differently colored ones for a secret bonus. Rack up these bonuses. I'm very for excited for score. Crisis Core. I loved the original Radiant game. Silver Gun launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Recruit a team of shipwrecked heroes and make your way out of a derelict space station in this roguelike game Sega. set in the endless universe. But it's not as easy as it sounds. You'll have to fend off continuous waves of monsters as you make your way through procedurally generated levels. Complete various quests to unlock new heroes, weapons, station areas, and more. Up to three players in online co-op can attempt to escape their grim fate. Do you have what it takes? Endless Dungeon launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Next year, that's all you get. The <gasps> journey of Tales world of regeneration begins anew. Tales of Symphonia! Oh my god! Remaster <gasps> of Tales of Symphonia oh is coming to Nintendo Switch. 
The world of Silverlight is controlled by oh, shadowy forces That was my forces favorite video Desire. game for so long! To stop oh them, a person known as the Chosen One <laughs> must ascend the Tower of Salvation. That was my favorite video Boy, game for like 15 years running, dude! I love the this game so much! Chosen One and his childhood friend in this beloved action RPG. <laughs> They'll meet allies along the way. I love like this Like the wandering game. aristocrat, Zellos. Rico, and a lumberjack who so lost much. her emotions after ah. an experiment, Prisea. Other allies will also join the party. Oh my god. I knew the right away. I knew that. I knew from like the starting picture, man. I'm obsessed with this game. Tales of Symphonia oh Remastered god. begins its journey on Nintendo Switch early time. next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm freaking out, dude. I didn't expect to see that! <laughs>
Tears of the Kingdom. Release date, release date, release date. Release date. Please? Please. could die happy oh may 12th that's my brother's birthday that's a good birthday present for my brother here you go brother oh my god i'm like dying dude that was a really good direct i think overall that was a really good direct let's see the results here man still no waluigi game we're crying in the club man nothing there is no bingo on this day. Advance Wars! I was so sure that we were gonna get an Advance Wars announcement. Like, what happened to this game? I don't understand. Like, this game was supposed to come out like a year ago. And they kept pushing back the date and they still haven't released it. I'm, I'm legit so confused about that. <clears throat> That was a really, really, really good direct, holy crap. <laughs> I didn't expect a new Fire Emblem game that had, like, so many different characters in it from, like, a bunch of different games. Can we watch that again, actually? Here, let's let's watch that again. What was it called? Like, Fire Emblem... Uh, what was it called? Engage? We live on the continent of Elios. Four realms surrounding Wait, the Wait, okay, you can see it on the outside. I should have picked it up right away and I didn't. Okay, yeah. So... I'm assuming... Okay, it's kind of hard to tell. This is very clearly Micaiah. Four realms surrounding a holy land at its center. A thousand years ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the fell dragon. We called upon <clears throat> heroes from other worlds to aid us. Heroes known as You know Emblems. what? With Oh yeah. Okay, so that's Lim. The warriors of our nations fought as Yeah. Okay. So, hmm. I think this can kind of be possible. You know what? I can easily see Micaiah being a part of like any universe just because of her age. I mean like uh, I mean, I mean, I guess like the Fire and Emblem stories we are like kind of different, but like, I don't know, with the characters they chose the to dragon. merge together, I can kind of see a story. In the years since, our world mm -hmm. has been safe. But Isekai now, Fire Emblem? Kind of. I mean, I guess it has to in a sense. The binding weakens. I just don't understand like how this works story-wise, but it is a new game. This is a, this is a new game. Okay, can I be real? I am... I am so surprised at these characters. I, uh, I'm... Mm. <laughs> For one, I'm not a huge fan of Marth. <laughs> I'm not sure why Marth is getting so much attention, honestly. I don't, I, I don't... You're awake. I find him kind of boring. Oh, you're really awake, <clears throat> And this design, look, I I love a new Fire Emblem game, but like, I'm not a fan of this guy. The red and blue hair just ain't cutting it for me. It better be story meh, relevant, meh, that's all meh, I'm meh, saying. Meh, meh, meh. I don't know about this one. Thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep. <laughs> what are those I don't like it. <laughs> he looks like the Joy-Cons. That's where the you design came from. Dragon, I'm not a huge fan. A member of a royal family of dragons. <clears throat> the war. He's the handsome, dragon. I agree. I feel like I can almost remember. But it's funny because like I don't know um Oh wow. The fact that these characters the are together. This is like really crazy. Mark, Mark. Um Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. The 
a ring. Dragon child. Oh. So, emblem rings. Huh. Emblem rings. But, oh, oh, you guys, uh, sorry, can't see, but like underneath it says like up here, the dragon child. I'm just scrutinizing, don't mind me. Right. Sigurd, leave it to me. I do like Sigurd. It is rather quiet, I know. But it will liven up as we gain allies. <laughs> the time has come. Now, as one emblem, engage! <laughs> That's so cheesy. Emblem engaged. That's the that's the title drop. So it almost looks like wait momentum. That was a skill. Wait. Also wait. Look at this dumbass. Who did, who made this trailer? He's wielding a rider's bane, which is supposed to be effective against mounted units, and he's using it on a mage. Two mages. No, an axe, Please a warrior, and a mage. Your strength. Yeah. Silica. Interesting. So they're using the power of... She asked me okay. <laughs> it seems like they're actually putting, like, more so the fire emblem. Like, the emblem in fire emblem. So... Each of these characters that come back Bar represent an emblem. Peace back to and they use their rings for, like, their their emblem powers which is interesting because i mean like the fire emblem is a thing that comes up in every game in some way shape or form but in this game it seems like the fire emblems are represented as rings represented from these characters that come from other games okay so they have an ore shop Fashion shop. Oh god, the they're still going come. in this direction. Now, as one. Okay. <clears throat> it does seem interesting. Um, of course I'm gonna play it because holy crap. <laughs> I'm a little bit excited about it. Any Fire Emblem game, like hello, yes, sign me up. Alright, well, we didn't get a bingo, guys. The bingo didn't happen. We suck. I will forever be praying for a Waluigi solo game. One day, I think we're gonna get it. One day, it's gonna happen. But today was unfortunately not that day. But I believe in the Waluigi supremacy. One day he will rise and he will have the greatest solo game to ever exist. <clears throat> oh man. Welp, let's exit out of that. All right, I think it's time to. Jeez, okay. All right, I think it's time to play some Amori, shall we? All right, let's change the gaming category. Yeah, that was really loud. It's the DMCA cops. Yeah, they're coming after me. So loud. Okay, that was a good switch though. A Nintendo Switch Direct, oh my god. So, state of play. I think, I think what we'll do is I will stream the state of play. I think I'm, I've decided I will stream the state of play later. It'll be like a second part two stream because I don't want to stream all the way until six o'clock for that. So, we'll just, we'll, we'll do a mini stream and then I'll go live again for the state of play later, okay? So if y'all want to hang out for that, we can do that. Oh yeah, I could be playing Goldeneye right now, honestly. Don, did you see that? Goldeneye, yeah. No, the, the N64 game. That was such a classic game. What do you mean? That was like the biggest game in N64. Yeah. 
Oh my god, Dom doesn't understand. We're, we're not talking, we're fighting. He's like, it's based off of uh, James Bond movies. Yeah, well, you can play two games at the same time. He's like, people were playing GoldenEye, I was playing Final Fantasy VII. Like, you can't play two games at the same time. Whatever, whatever, Dom. He doesn't understand. Yes, there is a state of play. So there is a state of play today at six o'clock in seven hours for the PlayStation side of things. Oh. For the prequel, Crisis Core? I played the original Crisis Core and it was a fantastic game. So I'm very excited to see how the remake does. Cause yeah, the Crisis Core is, has a fantastic story and the original game also had a great battle system as well. Like I had, in my opinion, one of the better battle systems in like old Final Fantasy. Crisis Core was really good. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm excited for that. Meh, 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 meh. <laughs> It's insane that GoldenEye is back due to someone leaking the cancelled HD version from Xbox Arcade. I am so happy. Well, we don't know that that's the reason. <laughs> that's a huge assumption I would not make. But I'm excited for GoldenEye, yes. That's actually really hype. But Tales of Symphonia, oh my god. Yeah, that came out of nowhere, holy shit! <laughs> Like, I never expected Tales of Symphonia to be remade. It's only the first game, though. So the second Tales of Symphonia, I thought if they were going to remaster the games ever, that they would do the first and the second games together in a package, but they didn't. So it, it's only it only showed the first game. It's OK, though, but. Um, yeah, holy crap, I still can't believe that that happened. Like, Tales of Symphonia was my favorite game up until playing Great Ace Attorney last year, so that was my favorite video game for about 14 years running. That's a long time for being an uncontested favorite video game, okay? I was obsessed with Tales of Symphonia. <clears throat> I, I would claim to be the, the world's biggest Tales of Symphonia fan. Yeah, um, uh, uh, what? If, if was on my indie game list, I believe so. Yeah, I'll make sure to play it whenever the port comes out. 